Hello and welcome to Technician's Crew Pass. My name is Chris Tobias and in this episode of Crew Pass TV we're looking at the Kramer PL50. Basically it's a power distribution but with a bit of a twist. So let's have a look. Uh, in the box you get uh, another box, um, power, rack ears, um, a remote. I read about the remote um, earlier. Basically what you can do is you can control this via remote and turn uh, different channels of the distribution on and off. Very, very cool. Um, but let's have a look at the unit itself. Um, also there's some manuals and schematics and different pieces um, in the box, but let's have a look at this. So from the front, it doesn't look like much. Basically, you've got five, um, five channels or five buttons which you can turn on and off. Um, you've got some indicator lights that tells you if it's a standby or active mode and a power light, that's about it. But where it gets interesting is if you have a look at the back. This is really cool. So basically, it's um, uh, one IEC in and then you, it uh, gives you five outputs, but each output is uh, individually controlled. So when I say that, um, you can control, so you can set it up two ways. One way is just a straight power distribution. You turn it on, everything powers up. Or you can say, when this unit gets power, you want channel one to turn on first. A minute later, you want channel two to turn on. A minute later, you want channel three to turn on, so on and so on. So basically what you can do is you can say, I want my audio desk to turn on, I want my processor to turn on a minute after that. And then two minutes after that, I want my amps to turn on. So very, very cool. It just gives you a bit more functionality. <clears throat> One of the other great things, which I was thinking about using it for, was basically I've got a client that comes into a room exactly the same time every day, uh, sorry, every week, and I need to turn the PA on. Basically, we have to walk down there and turn it on. But what I thought was, because you can actually um, time schedule this, and I'll show you that um, a little bit later, you can time schedule each individual output. So what I could do is say that she comes in at th um, Thursday morning at nine o'clock, Thursday morning at nine o'clock, this unit will power up my whole PA um, for me in that room, which means that we don't have to go down there. Very, very cool, also um, can power off. So again, if she leaves the room at 10 o'clock, she forgets to turn the PA off, which happens all the time, I can tell this unit to power everything down at 10 o'clock. So I'll show you that. <clears throat> if we just have a look at the um, back panel here, you've got ethernet port. So basically this is ethernet in, so you can connect um, to this and, and there's a little web interface that I'll show you later. You've also got RS-232, RS-485. You've got a little um, contact relay here for like alarm, so it'll, it can actually send alarms out. And then you've also got a con uh, digital control um, contact closure here as well. So what I wanna do is connect this to a laptop, um, fire it up and show you the web interface and show you how you, you can time schedule this. Okay, so here we are. Um, I've just set up a PC laptop. Uh, it has to be PC because uh, the device runs Java. Tried to set up with my MacBook, didn't work. Um, basically just connected ethernet cable directly into the back. Um, I'll show you the web interface. Um, so basically you just go, uh, the default IP address for this is 192.168.1.39, um, which is the Kramer default. And basically once you enable all of your Java and your Java's up to date, you just go into your web browser. I'm in Chrome punch in the web address, uh, sorry, punch in the IP address and you come to the panel. So this is the panel and as you see here, I can turn on um, each of the channels, or each of the outputs, which is really cool. So that's great. Um, so basically if you sat this on a network, you could do that from your desk or you could do it from home. Then you've got the schedule and the schedule's pretty cool. So basically you can see the, uh, just here you've got the five channels and you've got Monday to Sunday. So you can basically schedule on and off times for every channel, very, very cool. Um, channel settings, just gives you a little bit more control. 
um, over what's actually going on. You can look at grouping some channels as well, um, which is pretty cool. You've then got alerts. So the alerts is the contact closure on the back, so it'll actually send you um, uh, alert messages. You've also got uh, um, power measurements. So it just gives you standby, active and clear on each of the channels. Um, you've also got power on, power off order. So basically this is what I was talking about before. So you can set it to say channel one power on, channel two power on, or you can say I want channel five and then one and then three and then four. Um, so you can do that. And you've also got the delay in seconds there as well. So very cool. And last of all, you've got configuration. So basically if you've got more than these in your building, you can start labeling them um, by rooms or whatever you want. Um, very, very cool, very easy. And you can also set a username and password so no one can get onto them uh, over your network as well. So that's basically it. Just really wanted to show you quickly the um, inside um, so that uh, you, could, you, you knew what you could actually do. And especially the scheduling side, I think that's where it really comes into its own. One that you can schedule, or one that you can set the order of how it powers up, um, but also you can schedule the on and off times for every single channel. It'd be cool if there was more than five channels, but hey, look, you can always just buy another one. You can um, daisy chain or slave them together. So very, very cool. Well, there you have the Kramer PL50 power distribution. Very cool unit. I can see a lot of uh, uses for this, um, especially the scheduling. Uh, I'll leave links to this below in the show notes. I'll also leave some links to some of our other videos. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. And if you like our videos, please share them with your friends. If you've got any products that you'd like me to review or anything um, that you'd like to let me know about, uh, send me an email via the community. That's uh, at crewpass.com. And if you're not a member of Crewpass, you should be.